Welcome back, Golly Vibes family, my brothers and my sisters. Um, today's episode is about pastors standing up and standing up for truth. Amen. Um, we've already had different conversations about this man right here who called himself Bishop William Murphy, how he threw the the celebration for New Year's, but it has secular music in it inside a church. And in these secular songs, it was talking about undercover hoes, it was talking about smoking marijuana, all kind of different things, drinking Patron. In the secular songs that he played in church, it went viral. Many people spoke against it. He didn't come out and apologize. He had a lot of pride. He came out and said, if you can't out soul win me, shut up. That's what he said. This is what he said. If you can't out soul win me, shut your mouth. That's what he said. Those were his those were his exact words. Um but hallelujah, there's different men coming out and talking about it. This man right here, he goes by Bishop Patrick Wooden, I believe. And it's the same man who came out against Beyonce. He came out against the pride situations. Um, you know, I take my hat off to him for coming up coming out and stepping up. In different moments when it comes to different things like this. Because a lot of people don't. Uh, you know, a lot of these mega churches, they don't. You're not about to see Joel Osteen come out against this. You're not about to see people like T.D. Jakes come out, come out against this. Those, those type of pastors, they're not popular. You know who's popular? The people who are um, contributing into the agenda that is not of God. That's who's popular. I'm just throwing it out there. That's who's popular. Those who are contributing by not speaking up. Listen to me. When you're silent, you are contributing to evil. You are partnering with the enemy when you don't speak up for truth, when you have a platform to speak up. You think that the disciples were all martyred except one because they were silent? No, they spoke up. They spoke truth. They spoke God's word. Yeah, they spoke God's word. Many didn't like it. They said, hold on, who are, they, who are these people? You get what I'm saying? They spoke truth. They brought out truth. They were trumpets for the Lord. So my head definitely goes off to this man who speaks out. I want to show you guys the video without further ado of him talking about the situation. It's quite interesting. So check it out, you guys. Notice what he doesn't say. If it seems evil, we'll just change the requirements. We'll just lower the bar. He said, no. If you don't want to serve the Lord this way, choose who you want. So this is part of the problem we have in the modern day Christian world today. We are cheapening salvation to where, to, to where it means nothing. I said this in the 8 o'clock class. In, anytime you, you have a church service that's more like soul train. And, and people, people claiming to get saved. But you got saved by a Jesus that you can uh, do hip hop with. You, the Christ who saved you is, is, a, is, a, is a Christ who doesn't require that you come out of the world. See, remember, the Bible teaches in the last day that there would be false Christs. And this is what you're witnessing. Where you can, you can have church that looks just like the world. Dance just like the world, dance to the worldly music, and call that praise and worship. So he's basically talking about how uh, William Murphy was playing secular hip hop music in his church, and that's what we were just discussing about how in these he played DJ Unk for one. We know in the first verse of DJ Unk is smoking bubble gum. She, uh, they the double mid twins, things like th things of this nature. She undercover hoe, things things of this nature. In that song, that's what he was playing in his church, <laughs> and they were they were grooving to it. Yeah, so that's what he's talking about so far about you know um, them playing secular music and as if they're worshiping the Lord. No, they were in the club. Just because you were in the church building does not mean you were in church. That was not church. They claim, well, 150 got saved. Well, but they got, they, 
the bar was so low. You, you, you made it mean nothing. Anybody can get saved if you lower, you dumb it down to the point that you don't have to come out of anything, change anything, do right, live right. Hey, who wouldn't go for that? See, you made it mean nothing. Wouldn't how, how, you can't speak to those people's heart. You don't know whether they were sincere. Oh, I believe they were sincere. I just believe they were sincerely wrong. See, I'm, not, I'm not speaking to people's sincerity. Now, I know the preacher knows better. I'm not speaking to their sincerity. But you can't take Christianity and make Christianity into a sideshow. He basically saying, like, the people who went, first of all, we know that um, Wayne Murphy said that 150 people got saved, right? But if you actually watch the video, <laughs> he asked people if they didn't have a church to come up. It was nothing about no salvation. Like, it wasn't about salvation. He, he, he should have said 150 people found a new church. That's what he should have said. And um, Bishop Patrick Wooden is basically saying that you you made the bar so low as in like salvation isn't going to cost you your whole life right listen when you come to the lord you're saying my life isn't my own anymore it isn't my own anymore lord you take over but he's basically saying that that's not what happened right the the William Murphy is basically trying to g have them come to the Lord and still have their life, their old life, their their worldly ways, have both. When that's not possible, what fellowship does light have with darkness? None, none, none. Not not a not, not an itsy bit, not a tiny bit. None. Light has no fellowship with darkness. Complete opposites. You don't share them both. You don't walk with them both. You don't. You give up one to come to the other. And make it like a club and you're doing club dances and club gyrations and calling that Christianity. Mm-mm. 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 But, but notice, he says here, if it seems evil... I got to read this so I can preach to you. Unto you to serve the Lord. See, choose you this day. Well, who will you serve only? If it's evil, if it's if 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 it's non-productive, if you feel like we're going too far to challenge you to serve the Lord only and to live for Yahweh. I like the way he put it. He said, Well then I choose you this day whom you're gonna serve. He didn't say, Well, we're gonna change it. And so that, you know, you, we'll make it more palatable for you. Now, my position is this here at that upper room. If you just don't like what we're preaching, what we're teaching, you don't like the way we do, you don't like our standard, you just, you just, you just got problem with it and you're not going to adjust to it, leave. That's fair. That's fair. Because let me tell you what we're not going to do. We're not going to change for you. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Mm -mm. Well, I don't, I, don't, I don't like all this emphasis you put on the Bible. Well, we're not going to de-emphasize the Bible. I don't like what you say against the LBGTQ community. I'm not going to stop doing that. I, I, I didn't like what you said about Beyonce. I'm going to add more to it. I, didn't li I don't like, I don't like the, the stand that you, you, you take. Well, you, you, you have the right to feel that way. Yeah. It's the same guy who who uh, stood up against Beyonce. I didn't see much people on the pulpit doing that, to be honest. But for those who are stepping up and being trumpets for God, and I just didn't see you, my head goes off to you, my brothers and sisters. Continue to stand up and be a voice for the Lord. Continue to be a trumpet, amen, and a messenger, especially in these times. We are in January and barely in January. 
and so much is coming out right now. The Lord is exposing so much, is unveiling so much. Hallelujah. Stay on the path, my brothers and sisters. Stay on the path of the Lord. Amen. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, you guys. Um, hallelujah. For those who want to see more unfiltered videos, you can go to my patreon.com slash Isaiah Robin. Subscribe there. Um, some videos get taken down on YouTube, believe it or not. and But they don't get taken down on my Patreon. Amen. If you want to be, become a part of the community, you can go there. Everything that goes into there goes back into the kingdom of God. Amen. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, you guys. This is this is very interesting to me. Um, do you think that more pastors should be standing up and doing this? Or do you think that people should stay silent? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to be uh, interacting with a couple of you guys. Amen. God bless you. Have a good day.